So, there I was, standing on the bustling city sidewalk in an outfit that screamed, out of place. My sister had lost a bet with me, and her twisted sense of humor led her to devise this punishment. I had to wear a bright orange and red striped sweater, a black pleated skirt, white socks, and these ridiculously high blue heels. Oh, and I couldn't go back home until I took selfies with five different girls wearing skirts and heels. Chris, you look fabulous, she said, laughing as she shoved me out the door. I took a deep breath and started my mission. The first girl I approached looked at me like I had grown a second head. I couldn't blame her. I probably would have reacted the same way if a guy in my outfit had approached me out of nowhere. Excuse me, I began, trying to sound as confident as possible. Could I take a selfie with you? It's a part of a bet. She looked at me, eyes widening as she took in my ensemble, and shook her head before walking away quickly. Strike one. Hours passed as I roamed the streets, feeling the stares of passersby burning into me. I managed to find one girl who took pity on me and agreed to the selfie, but my luck seemed to run out after that. The others either ignored me or flat out refused. By the time evening rolled around, my feet were aching from the heels, and I was beginning to think I'd never make it home. I considered giving up, but the thought of my sister's victorious smirk kept me going. I spotted a group of friends at a cafe, all wearing skirts and heels. Perfect. Summoning all my remaining energy, I approached them, explained my situation, and to my surprise, they burst out laughing and agreed. You're brave, I'll give you that, one of them said as we posed for the selfies. With the task finally completed, I limped my way back home, victorious but utterly exhausted. My sister greeted me at the door, her laughter echoing through the house as she saw the pictures. Chris, you really pulled it off. She exclaimed, I couldn't help but laugh with her, despite the absurdity of the whole situation. Maybe next time, I'll think twice before making a bet with her. A few days after my ordeal in the city, I was still recovering from the soreness in my feet when my sister, Samantha, walked into my room with a mischievous grin. I knew that look all too well. Chris, I've been thinking, she began holding up her phone and showing me the photos from my embarrassing day out. You actually looked pretty good in that outfit. How about we make this a regular thing? I stared at her, incredulous. You're kidding, right? Not at all, she said, her grin widening. In fact, I was thinking you could come shopping with me this weekend. We'll get you some more cute dresses and heels. It'll be fun, I groaned. Sam, there's no way I'm doing that again. Her eyes twinkled with mischief as she held up her phone, her finger hovering over the screen. Well, if you don't, I might just have to post these pictures on social media. I bet everyone would love to see them. My heart sank. I knew she wasn't bluffing. Samantha was persistent, and she had a knack for getting her way. I sighed, resigning myself to my fate. Fine, but just this once. That's the spirit, she said, clapping her hands together. And who knows, you might even enjoy it. The weekend arrived faster than I would have liked, and soon enough, I found myself at the mall with Samantha, being dragged from store to store. She picked out dresses, skirts, blouses, and heels, all in bright colors and cute patterns. I couldn't believe the amount of effort she was putting into this. After hours of shopping, we headed home with bags full of clothes. Samantha insisted on a fashion show, making me try on each outfit and giving her feedback. Surprisingly, she was quite the stylist. The dresses she picked out were flattering, and despite my initial reluctance, I couldn't help but admire how I looked in some of them. The next few weeks were a blur of outings as Samantha's sister. We went to cafes, parks, and even a few parties. Each time, she made sure I was dressed to the nines, and to my astonishment, people didn't seem to notice, or if they did, they didn't care. At first, I felt self-conscious and awkward, but over time, I started to get used to it. Samantha was always by my side, encouraging me and making sure I felt comfortable. Her enthusiasm was infectious, 
and I began to see the humor and fun in our adventures. One evening, as we were getting ready to go out, I looked at myself in the mirror, dressed in a cute floral dress and matching heels. I turned to Samantha, who was adjusting her makeup. You know, this isn't as terrible as I thought it would be, I admitted. She smiled, giving me a playful nudge. See, I told you it would be fun. Besides, you make a pretty cute sister. I laughed, shaking my head. Thanks, I guess. As much as I hated to admit it, Samantha had been right. What started as a mortifying punishment had turned into a series of unexpected adventures. And while I wasn't sure how long our outings would continue, I knew one thing for certain. My sister and I had grown closer through this experience, and for that, I was grateful.